What's up guys, this is Rick's Light Sign and welcome back Tekken Tag, Tekken Tag, Tekken 4 Where well, obviously we're going along the list again, we're almost on our almost second Wow, we've almost got through a freaking bonus characters already apart from those ones, it's all down here So we'll get to that in a, well we're going to stick to Julia Chan anyway I've been playing Final Fantasy 1 And I feel so stupid Realizing that her native homeland would soon be in danger of the encroaching desert, I should tell this up. Julia began her research on ecosystem restoration in hopes of saving it. The research group she joined was funded exclusively by G Corporation. In fact, all research was conducted at G Corporation's maximum security labs, and all data was stored there as well. However, one day the project was placed on indefinite hold. The Mishima Zaibatsu had attacked G Corporation's maximum security labs and stolen all the research data. Julia neither knew nor cared about the Mishima Zaibatsu, but in order to prevent her home from becoming a desert in a few years' time, she had to retrieve the research data. Wow, so this is the first time the Mishima Zaibatsu actually became around then, as a thing. See, that's what I mean by the story it opened up a lot of this one. It was everything was all over the place before this, it was just a fighting game, but now it's got a proper story involved. Spirits, give me <coughs> strength. Now she's got like a reason to fight everything, so... Final round. A bit different, but I don't know. Fight. Like I was saying, I've been playing Final Fantasy One, and I'm like a little bit stupid because um, I'm using a guide to play it. Just, just like a, just like, just giving me hints on where to go, like a spoiler-free one. And he said I had to get a canoe from a group of sages. So I looked deeper into it to figure out what I had to do, and it came to that I was reading the entire thing wrong. So I spent like about, let's say for example, about half an hour trying to find this like set of mages or sages. And it turns out I had to go to a city to speak to them. And I'm the one that sounded stupid about it. I think I've got to go back to them again you because someone win. can help me out a little bit, I think, but... Obviously the story will progress more. I was going to decide to do it as a video on the channel, but then I thought... It's Final Fantasy 1, there's not much story going off. It's like a little few talky talks there, here and there, but... Other than that, it's just walk around and kill things. Like many, like all Final Fantasy games, really just walk around and kill things. But like those two games, isn't it? But I don't know, the original ones were just literally all about like going around fight shit. Like, kind of like a Pokemon kind of thing, but more fantasy involved. So I was, I'm not going to do it. We'll do a few of them. Like one of them I do want to do is number 12, but because, only because I've not finished number 12 and I've been doing it for fucking years and I've still not finished You win. It. I didn't start, I started playing Final Fantasy not that long ago, like just before I started up my channel, like my other channel, which is like five years ago, and I've been playing it a lot longer than five years ago, still not beating it at Fight. So it's getting a hindrance to beat it, but hey ho, it'll be a proud moment when I actually finish a Final Fantasy fucking game, but meh, let's move on to Tekken for now anyway, because that's what we do at the moment. I've just um, had a little trouble with uh, recording. Not recording, um, dealing with the Ruby video I've done, let's come out later. Because, um, I didn't know when I was hitting record that it was going to record you win. Zeta's voice okay. over the game. I didn't know it was going to do that. So I set, like, a primary thing on the side. Which I'll have to change for next time, which I didn't know about. Which is a bit of a bitch, but... Final oh well, round. things we've got to deal with, eh? Fight. But we can do so, when we... Do them. Because the first three batches are going to be terrible, but after that they're all going to be all right. So just have to bear with me until I get it all sorted properly. Because my audio side side is a little bit terrible itself, but it's things what I've had to like resolve to do. We recording? Oh god, I'm trying because I've not done all I've not done anything all day. Like I should be recording a lot of videos, but I want to get all the Ruby videos sorted, I want to get all the other stuff sorted up, so while I've been sorting it, I've not been recording. So it's put a hindrance on myself of what I wanted to do today, but 
You win. I progressed a little bit now. My goal is to get tomorrow's Tekken video done. Not tomorrow's. Yeah, tomorrow's Tekken video is done. No, sorry. Tomorrow's Oblivion video done. Because I'm not in all day tomorrow. I'm in the morning, but I want to get that done for tomorrow. And then, like, Thursday night, I've got to worry about doing fucking Friday's videos. And then I can relax a little I'm still worried about the Saturday and Sunday video, so I'm gonna have to like, try and like rush them out as much as I can. Because I'm not bothered if I get them recorded, I'm fine, because I can edit them anytime I want from then, apart from tomorrow after. Certain time, but after that, it should be all good. And then I've got a week off from everything, apart from YouTube, obviously, because I've took a week off to babysit stuff, but while I'm babysitting, I can record. So we should be able to catch up on that as well. We get ourselves ahead of it as well, like Final so two days round. can like get a full Fight. week out of it. So we can like be busy that entire week if I can. So it'll be it'll be worth it. But we'll just have to see how that all goes. Like I mentioned, if I do miss a video, I'll uh, like just a one video, I'm like worried about fixing that one, so if I miss a video, not a second video, because they're easily replaceable, so I could easily replace it with a second video, like a talking or an update video. But as soon as I miss a big video, like one of the ones that come out at 7, in my time anyway, they're the ones I'll be like, oh shit, now because I've missed one, I feel like I'm going to miss loads more, which I probably do end up missing loads more because I've missed one because I'm trying to play catch up. Final round. I'll then stop Fight. everything about the second videos and then record a shit ton of fucking videos to get all up. Like before, I did like a four week set before doing anything. But this time, I'm just going to do a two week set because I can catch up with a two week set. Especially if I've got plenty of time on my hands to work with it as well, which is what I want. Okay then. Well, you can be a bitch too, can you, right? I like how they made him look different in this. Continue. Like he looks... He didn't look evil in the first few, but this one he does. Because you don't really know the backstory until this one happens. Which is where it all kicks off. Like obviously you know something's going on in the fucking Tekken 3 video, but you don't know any of the backstory. Anyone's backstory is just like their own character ending, but apart, or apart from a few of them, that does have a canon ending. Like in this one, everyone's ending is canon because it doesn't tell you who won the fight and who hasn't won the fight. It just tells you like, a little snippet. You lose. Continue. Like if you remember Kuma's video at the very end, you're like pumping all these papers with his print. At the very one, it says, I, Kuma, give her feet to Heihachi. Because he couldn't read very well. So we were too busy, like, doing all the printing shit, and we got too used to it, so... Either way, I kind of don't want to fucking skip out any of this video, but I've got to the end, really. So I do like free facts, obviously, so I'll just talk about some of fucking random shit just to fill a gap. Like always. I hate it when I can tell you I don't mind playing the game, but then... When you're recording it, it's a little bit more harder to fulfill. <laughs> you win. At least I managed to do it in the end. See, like I was saying, and that's the only thing I hate about. I've mentioned it so many fucking times as well, so there's no point repeating myself. I get annoyed. I get annoyed because there's nothing to fucking talk about. And then when there is something to talk about, there's nothing even to talk about. I just start rambling on about fucking bullshit. Final round. Just Fight. to fill some freaking empty gaps in the audio. Fuck you, Heiachi. We are not fooling down to your level today, boy. We've got a lot of shit to fucking deal with, and I don't want to waste any more time in this video than I have to. Julia's too slow in the fucking game. She sucks. So much. Like so. Arrgh, getting pissed off. Continue. Just need to relax a bit. So I'm starting to get stressed. I can feel the stress building inside my body. Final round. Fight. That's another thing, like, people get stressed about it in their day-to-day -day lives, and when 
people say they're stressed about their own things, and when I say what I'm stressed about, I'm saying, well, that's nothing though compared to what I am. Blah, 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 blah. But it's like, you don't need to tell me what you're stressed about. The thing is that like, you're feeling stressed. I'm feeling stressed about what I do. So, you can say, oh, I'm stressed about more important things. Like that. Well, technically, you might be. But nonetheless, we're both stressed. You don't need to fucking go on about why you're stressed about all the shit you're doing. I don't know, Final that's just a random point I'm talking about. Fight. I, just, I just don't want to do this. I don't want to do this video now because Julius pissed me off. I want to move on. I move on. I really, really, really want to move on. I don't want to do next, I want to do the Leo Pyro. Ooh, I don't know. I really don't know. Fuck off. See, you're fucking blocking again here, Jay. I hate it when you do this. When I try and block, I can't fucking block. Holy shit! And then he just automatically the, for a fucking thing about the AI in these fucking games on Namco. They know exactly what you're going to do before you even press a button, which is bullshit. You lose. It's fucking pathetic. That could start me wrangling about Soul Calibur 5 and I really don't want to ramble about Soul Calibur 5. Final round. Really, really fucking don't. Fight. They give you something to do in a fucking game that is not humanly possible. Well, obviously, it is humanly possible because obviously it's there to be done. But when you've got someone at a high fucking rank in the game that just does the same fucking move to beat, why the fuck have you made it something that is a collectible for fuck's sake? And now he actually just being bullshit because he can't let me get up like all oh, fucking AI do. I need to relax. <laughs> Stress is building like that. Need to relax and stress it all, and then we're okay. And we're all okay. Julian won the tournament and took over Mishima Zaibatsu. She gained access to not only her lost research material, but to all of Mishima Zaibatsu's cutting-edge technology, including G Corporation's research data. Julius Hope for Restoration Group. Oh yeah, she's in nature, isn't she? She's in nature for me, so. Genesel was the key. When you attempt to combine the devil and human, the devil cells destroy the human cells, making it impossible to create a viable life form. But when you introduce Genocell, the biological purifying qualities of the Genocell can suppress the Devil Cell. Remarkable, isn't it? Join us in our research. Dr. G. This research will be the end of mankind! What are you doing? Stop! No! Do you want to destroy your dreams of reforestation? You're destroying the future of mankind! You're wrong! How can that be our future? A world where such horrible things exist? Stupid woman! <laughs> One day, I will reforest this land. I swear it. Considering only one of these enemies is kind of not which one it is. It tells you in the games. Anyway, guys, so. That was the end of Tekken 4 with Julia Chan. I have no idea what Tekken video we're going to be doing next. It's either Lee or Violet. That's all I can really tell you. It's either me or Violet. <laughs> little sister's middle name, which is quite weird. So, um... Nothing really else... Nothing much to say, really. Apart from... 
I will see you in the next video, which is going to be later today, obviously with Oblivion. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in Oblivion. Oh, I'm with those. I can't wait to play Oblivion, actually, because I need to know what's going on with the cult. So, guys, I will catch you later with Oblivion and tomorrow with either Lee Chowlan. Is it Lee Chowlan? Yeah, Lee Chowlan or Violet. I'll tell you. Oh, I can't even tell you. You'll just find out tomorrow in the fucking video. So, guys, this is Rich Light, signing out.